Hi, crafty friends. Okay, guys, let's make some faux wood pumpkins with cardboard. So I'm using really um, thick cardboard so that they'll stand up really nicely. Now, I created these graphics and I just printed them off uh, so that I could cut them out and trace them onto the cardboard. You're totally freehand these if you want, but my freehand is not so hot. <laughs> So uh, at first I'm just going to trace out the shape and then I will use my box cutter to cut them out. Now what I decided to do for the inside of these um, is I took my X-Acto knife and I cut out the eyes if it had a nose and the mouth and then that way we can use it kind of like a stencil. So I was when I started using this when I was cutting up the box I was like man this uh, box cutter is not going through very good. So I changed out the blade and super duper easy it helped me kind of make the corners that I needed to and stuff so hmm, lesson learned there Bonnie always use a nice <laughs> sharp box cutter blade um, but what we're going to do is we're going to do these green um, I am going to do kind of this um, oh I don't know what you would call it exactly, but I'm gonna use these on my mantle eventually. So I will decorate with uh, some different greeneries and stuff. And I thought just kind of attaching these to the greenery would look really cool, just kind of like hang from the fireplace. And I'm obsessed with green pumpkins right now. So I was like, oh, why not use the green? So then I grabbed out kind of this gold yellow color. And here's where you can see we're gonna kind of use them as a template. And I just kind of dabbed in everywhere just to kind of get the rough idea. Now I just did one coat of the yellow if you wanted it to be a little bit brighter um, or more coverage I should say then you can go ahead and do two if you want but what we're going to do is we're going to outline everything uh, in black and so you could totally do this with a paintbrush you know I have super shaky hands so I thought oh wait let's use a paint pen so I got a thicker paint pen to go around the edges and then a thinner one uh, for the eyes and mouth and stuff like that now I had forgotten that my thicker paint pen has seen better days. So it took me a little bit longer than I needed to just because I had to go back in and fill in some areas. So I've already like put a note to myself to get new paint pens. <laughs> because they're so easy to use. So once I outlined all of them, then like I said, I went back through and did the eyes and nose and if there is a nose and then the mouth with the thinner one. And then what I did was kind of build out. Um, I liked it just with one pass, but then I was like, oh, I want it to be thicker around the eyes and stuff. So I did more and then kind of add some little uh, parts to it to look like the vine and, you know, just kind of dressed them up the way I thought that they would turn out really cute, but I got to tell you, when I set these up on the counter to take the picture, I was like, these look like wood. It's amazing to me how cool these turned out. So look at this, you guys. Aren't these going to be cute on the fireplace? Oh, I can't wait to do it. All right, friends. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow the page for more daily crafts.